All right, what is up, YouTube? This is Patrick Pedraza. I haven't posted like a video on my channel in a while, so this is gonna be a little longer. It might go like past four minutes, maybe three. So hey, I wanna give you guys a tour of my voiceover booth because I had a couple people asking me, hey, what's your booth look like? And I'm just gonna, well, there it is right there. So disclaimer, check this out. All the other VAs out there, who are really super technical and have the best mics, they're probably gonna laugh at this, but I'm gonna show you what I use and what I've used before. Um, yeah, so let's do it. So first off, my booth is in my garage. So look at, check that out, I got my surfboards, I got like the bikes, Violet's bike, her scooter, her helmet, um, and this is where I work out, you know what I mean? There's a Stability ball, I got the salt bike right there, pull up bar. And my wife, she works from home. Like, I, <laughs> check this out. She's like, works from home. She works for um, the Department of Defense. She does cybersecurity. So people don't even, bro. Did you see that? She's working. All right. I'm gonna switch the phone around, okay? So check it out, my friend who does construction, he made me this booth. And this door was found on a construction site. Um, they were gonna throw it away and he just said, hey, I have a heavy door, let me just bring it. So he did that for me. And this whole booth cost me about, with labor and everything and some Home Depot wood, about, I don't know, $1,100. That's paying him and all that, it took him about two days. So yeah, and all these stickers are violets right here and mine. We have so many stickers and look at this one. This is Vans, look at, oh, look at all these cool stickers. Look at, Jesus, I saw that. You the best. And when I work out, that's what I like to see when I work out. Come on, one more, one more pull up now. Yes. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Oh, enemy impulse pass, woo, shout out to them. They're always cool to me. Okay, I'm going inside the booth. Wait, I forgot this cloud right here. This is Violet's Halloween costume. She's like, I wanna be a thunder cloud for Halloween. So we made her one and I have that on my booth. All right, we're going in. Check this out. Purple and black sound treatment. I got a little window right here my friend made me and check that out. Some awesome fans made me this custom good luck bear with a scar hat. And this is something Violet when she started coloring. Um, here's a microphone. It's an Apogee mic. Um, you can plug that into your iPad, into um, an iPhone, and it sounds pretty good. And this is the, the interface I use. I like to keep it really simple. It's a one by Apogee. And I use my iPad for auditions because it works really fast. And this mic right here is an Audio-Technica shotgun mic. It's a 875R. It's like a $175 mic and it sounds good on my voice. And I do have a Cinco um, mic over here somewhere, a D2 shotgun mic, it's down there. You can't see it, sorry. And I, hold on one second. And I do have the little black light. Check this out. So you see that pole right there? You guys are gonna laugh, <laughs> it's so good. I was like, how am I gonna get my mics in the right placement? It's for a shower curtain and it tightens up. So check this out, it's a shower curtain and I got these mic holders that I put right there and you could put on like a XLR mic and just goes right on that shower thing. And I could just switch out mics whenever I want. This one has like, um, you know, the Apogee mic on there and I just have two of those. And I have a little thing where I could put my phone if I'm like on a Skype call um with a client and i have like a mic stand in here and look at hold on one second sorry it's not a black light it's a ring light what is wrong with me so the program i use for um recording auditions is twisted wave and it's pretty easy for me to use on the ipad so i just talk in the mic talk in the mic and uh this is where i do my editing and you could do a whole bunch of stuff with the one on, on the iPad, the Twisted Wave app on the iPad. So that's the editing software um, I use for voiceover, Twisted Wave. And I go in here and here's my door. I close the door. I could see out through the window, that's my garage. And got some headphones right there. So I try, try to keep it as simple as I can. So um, yeah. 
That's what I use. I'm mean, not too complicated, right? Hold on, I forgot to tell you what I guys used, what I used before. I used to be in like a closet with a whole bunch of clothes and sit down in a chair in a two bedroom apartment. I've been in our apartment without a booth before we had a house with no sound treatment, just a microphone, like it was all echoey. Um, and then you just start to learn and learn and learn. Um, so yeah, so a closet, I've, I've done it in hotel rooms, like I brought my mic and used pillows and stuff, but this is what I use at my house. So yeah, I've done, I do like, some low budget recording sometimes, but uh, I try not to do that. I mean, this sounds good. I mean, you could A, be a mic, like a really super expensive mic. You can have expensive mic, but have like a, like a, a, a crappy interface and it doesn't sound good. So I just like to have a good treated space, a good microphone, um, a good uh, preamp, you know, it doesn't have to be like a million dollars in. I mean, it sounds good to me, you know what I'm saying? I am the least technical person, so I have to have things streamlined really easy for me to use like um, on a computer. And if I have to do a remote session for like Genshin or like a video game, some people do it from their house. They like to do that. I live about 60 miles outside of LA. Um, I prefer to drive to a studio and let the technicians take care of that part where I could just worry about my my audio and my my um voiceover for the video game or commercial let them worry about the technical part i'll worry about my part and plus it gets me out of the house i don't like talking to people sometimes i do like talking to people i'm an introvert um sometimes if i'm, I'm out too much talking to people i like to just hide in my room and just have it quiet but that's hard for me because i have a five-year-old so um yeah yeah that's me so i like to go out to the studio and record. Um, recording from home, I do it sometimes if it's like um, on a Skype call and I could send them files, but I prefer to go to a studio when I have to watch video and all that stuff because I'm not technical. I don't want that part to be my fault. I'd rather take responsibility as doing just the voice. You know what I mean? That sound weird. Okay, look, I do like talking to people, okay? I just, it takes a lot. When you talk to a lot, a lot of people, it takes a lot of energy sometimes. And then... <clears throat> I just like to be by myself after. You know how it is. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting things as I turn the uh, recorder off. You could have all the best equipment in the world, the best vocal booth, the best mic, the best everything. But if you have a crappy read, you don't get the job. But you could still not get the job and have a good read. My point is, is just if you're serious about doing voiceover work, like you got to just keep practicing and practicing, working on your craft, as they call it. I don't know. Um, yeah. So just this is it. This is what I do. My booth There's my surfboards. I got to take them out because I haven't surfed in a long time. I'm not a great surfer, but I do like to catch a wave here and there. And uh, yeah. See you later. Oh my gosh, I turned on the light. I hope it wasn't too dark. Oh well. But yeah, so that's my booth. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments about it. Oh my gosh, check this out. See this watch? My wife makes fun of me because I use this old watch <laughs> and I taped it up. This is my timer for when I work out instead of like an Apple watch. I do have an Apple watch and I use it sometimes, but I use this old school one. So yeah, that's my booth. Pretty easy. My friend made it about, I don't know, a thousand bucks and... uh yeah, I'm stoked on it. And for me, I don't really like to use um, super expensive stuff. I've never been a person to use expensive stuff and not know how to use it. Like my first skateboard was like a skateboard from the swap meet. It was $15. The bearing sucked, but I learned how to skate. And then I got like a Tony Hawk skateboard, but I learned how to ollie. So I just don't like to be that person that has all this super expensive stuff and not know how to use it. I just don't like to be a poser. You know what I'm saying? So if I am a poser, then call me out. It's all good. But um, yeah, that's my booth. That's it in my garage. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys soon at a convention. And thank you for all the support you guys give me for Scaramouche and... and um, yeah, that. Uh, so, yeah, just thanks, y'all, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Yo, this video is like 10 minutes. I thought it would be three to four minutes. I'm really sorry if you made it this far. You're amazing. I just did this whole thing on my phone. Like, it took me a long time, so I hope you like it. Please subscribe. This is my channel, y'all.
down, everyone.